Good morning, good morning, good morning. Got my first cup of coffee this morning. Yep, I got that. I gotta, all right now, let's go through our routine now. Do we know who we are? Do we know what day it is? <laughs> are you happy? You're not? Maybe? Don't wanna be? You gotta be happy. Come on, do a belly laugh. Come on, come on. <laughs> sing that song my daddy used to sing. Barefooted boy with boots on came pedaling down the street. His hands were full of pockets and his shoes were full of feet. <laughs> now sing it all together now. A <laughs> barefooted boy with boots on came pedaling down the street. His hands were full of pockets, and his shoes were full of feet. <laughs> I don't know, my daddy sucking. Don't, don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I know, insane, this is everywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> as long as it's safe, insaneness, right? <laughs> a good morning, good morning. I got up with a startle this morning. Connor woke me up this morning. I said, Connor, what do you want? We popped out of bed and he ran to the door and he looked at me. Of course, then I had to go back to the little girl's room, you know, and then come back and see what he was up to. And he waited for me and I followed him <laughs> right out to the yard. Out to the yard. Just so he could be. He got me up and made me wait at the door. Oh, no, he waited at the door <laughs> and kept looking back. Like he could see. The little dog is blind. <laughs> I said, what's up? What's up? And I followed him, followed him, followed him. He went pee-pee. And then he kicked his back legs, you know, like they do after they do that. To, to spread their scent or something. <laughs> And I stood there and I looked around at the trees and saw the blue jays chasing squirrels down there all over the top of the trees. And I looked down and he was gone. I turned around and he's turning around looking at me like he can see. Now turn around and look at me, waiting on me. <laughs> like, come on, let's go back in the house. So he's like training me to be house trained. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I made my coffee. Yes, I did. <laughs> Today's going to be an unusual day. My sister and her little friends down the street uh, are like seven and five. And there's another daughter, she's nine, and their mama and my sister and me. Supposed to have a picnic out in the she shed. <laughs> we shall see how that turns out. <laughs> The she shed's like 10 by 10. You know what I mean? We're going to find people in there. But she's got a bed in there. Chairs. It's all decorated. You've seen it. You've seen it inside of it. I'd video the occasion. But, you know, you can't video kids. <laughs> I like that anymore. Oh, not on YouTube that, that way. Anyway. Because we're just going to have a little tea party. I guess. I guess I better boil me some eggs so I can have something to take with me. Or maybe some deviled eggs. I don't know. Maybe one of those. But anyway, let's start with our comments first thing this morning after you've had your coffee. Oh, man, this coffee's good, too. It's a little chilly outside when we went out with Connor, but 56 is almost 60, so we're close to 70. <laughs> is that an optimist? <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> well, good morning. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Oh, my goodness. We got those messages today. That's comments. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Matt 
kind of it. She said, Busy Bee Ma, thank you. Said, You're welcome. You're welcome, Matt. You and your mama. Your mama's name Billy? Did you say Billy? Good morning, Billy. <laughs> yeah, we're still here, aren't we? <laughs> Every day's a new day for our lives, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good to hear from y'all. Good to hear from y'all. <clears throat> Let's see if I got everything that it says, Dear, good morning, me, Ma. I and my 78 year old mom, Billy, said hello. You're doing just fine. I want to see the doggy. Oh, that's right. You wanted to see. <laughs> that's what? Well, Can you jump up? <laughs> oh, yes, he's the only puppy here now. Clyde died, you know, last month. Well, yeah, last month. No, this month. Oh, my gosh, it's just this month. Still miss him terribly. Here's Bonnie Myers. Hey, Bonnie. You know, it makes my day to know that someone wants to see pictures of my project. I haven't made an adult cardigan before, but I'm going to do one next. Well, I am so proud of you, Bonnie. I am. I am. And if you sent me pictures, I'll, I'll check and see if I can find them. Boy, I can't wait. There's Teresa. So you finished a little uh, child's vest, Bonnie. Did you? Good work, girl. Good job well done. <laughs> oh, here's Teresa. Hi, Mima. I'm doing good. And yes, starting to walk. Yay! Pretty soon we'll diaper train you, Teresa, now that you're getting ready to walk. <laughs> we'll treat you like a little baby. It feels like that, don't it? It's like, I gotta get up and start walking so I can grow up. That's what babies say, I think. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, let's see. Uh, I walk with a cane. Oh, how, how, in, what great integrity you have walking with a cane. What kind of cane? You have one of those new ones that stand up. I have one of those that you hold and it's got a, it stands up like this instead of like this. It goes like this. I like it. <clears throat> yes, I don't go back to the doctor's office. I don't go back to the doctor's office in six weeks. It's so good to be able to get up and walk. We are not going on vacation. Oh, I know you love the trip. I know you love the travel. When I do get better, I will be going back to Texas. Uh, Texas to see my son. Oh my goodness. Both both uh, Teresa and uh, Maribel both have sons in, in uh, Texas. Well, that would be great when you get better real soon. In fact, I think... Uh, Teresa Maribel is leaving Wednesday to, uh, well, it's tomorrow to see her son. This morning we had storms. Oh, this was 17 hours ago. This morning we had storms. Well, I hope everything's okay. Yeah, I hope you're doing very well. Love you. Two hearts, two coffee, two yarn, and a foot. <laughs> that foot's looking a lot better. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your heart and two cups of coffee, one for you and me, and two yarns so we can crochet together. And praying for that little old footsie of yours. <laughs> oh, Teresa, you are a hoot. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's see now. Here's Joy Bird. This is me, Ma. I, I have not read any Agatha Christie books. I guess I will try to find audiobooks. Oh, I've got to read the comment. 
Well, I have a, this is Joybird. Hi, Joybird. I'm getting messed up on this morning, even with my comments. This is Joybird. Well, I have a crochet in a month. I can't decide I don't want to make. Yes, it's a great day. Sounds like you're getting ready for spring. Oh, I'm always ready for spring, aren't you? Yeah, even if it's in my mind, I'm I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to decide what you want to make. The day, uh, today, well, of course, today I'm working still, putting on this uh, you know, new color in my uh, virus African meets granny square African. I think it's going to be real pretty. When the little girls came over yesterday, one's name's Tilly, the other's name's a Hazel. Yes, Hazel, adorable children. And uh, Tilly just loves this. So today I've got some. I'm going to put it in the she shed and let them pick out one for, for each one of them. <clears throat> maybe, maybe they'll get interested in crocheting. That would be nice. I was eight when I learned. So I'm losing my throat this morning. I'm losing my voice is what I meant to say. Okay, Joybird says, uh, uh, let's see, I have not read any Agatha Christie books. I guess I will try to find audiobooks. Well, that's, that's great. Get some audiobooks. You can crochet while you listen to audiobooks. <laughs> you are making me want to read. Well, it's time to read. He met this crochet magazine. And you know, you don't even have to buy them. You just sign into your local library. And you can just flip the pages on your on your phone or computer or whatever. Download their software. It's for free. <laughs> you can't beat that. Uh, but you're probably entitled. You might be entitled to get free books from the um, from the state. Check it out. Um, Audio books where they bring them to you and stuff. And libraries will do it, too, which is fun. If you have a player, you know. Um, okay, where are we at? Okay. Uh, making me want to read. That's a good thing. Yes, it is. I think we are going to have veal and pintos tonight. I got two pieces for almost $6. It was, a, it was marked down. They are good-sized pieces. I hardly ever buy that meat. Maybe one time every 10 years, and then it is marked down. A can of pintos and a slice of meat for my son and I, for $8, is not bad. No, and you can fill your belly up real good with that, too. You want to have any cornbread? Oh, you don't eat cornbread, do you? You have rolls? Oh, you don't eat bread at all? You don't? Know? Oh, you do? Oh, <laughs> Now, I've never had a veal and pintos, but it's got to be good. It's got to be good because Joybird said so. <laughs> oh, Joybird, Joybird, Joybird. Uh, and here's Matt. I get Matt Jonovich. You are loved. I love you, me, Ma. I love you, too, and Billy, too. And I'm hoping you're watching this morning. Tell me what you're up to. Got to be up to something, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, let's see. Have I read everything? I may have read these yesterday. I just can't remember. Yeah, you heard about Robert walking, wanting to go out and get a bucket of water. Isn't that right, Jill? <laughs> let's see, did you? I mean, that was scary. Jill, now that is scary. And Bob, that's that's scary. Walking out there on that ice to get water. Yeah, what if he fell in? That would be just too, 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 too bad. And here's Anna Zombie Frog Jordan. Hi, Mima, I love you. You are awesome. I've been sick. Can't shake this cough. I may have to. I may have could be a virus or a respiratory 
so I'm not working. It's been two weeks. Yeek. Oh, that, that does hurt. I bet that does hurt. Ooh. You gotta get better. You had to, you're going to the doctor today, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. So let's see if I'm, I have missed anyone this morning. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I, I, I think I've got everyone. I think I've got everyone. Okay. We gotta check out Southern, Miss Southern Bell's got some new videos up. Might wanna check it out. There we go. See who else is getting ready to upload today. Hmm. Now, it's not working for me, so this is the old one. This is the one that I think's going out on me. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Heck Nuko has uh, put up a new video. Guru and Woohoo is and the turtle is put up two videos. And yes, I want to see those pictures now, Bonnie. Don't forget. And anybody else that's crocheting now, Joy Bird, you're gonna have to come up with a project. Yes, yeah, you are. Yeah, well, you can listen to a book and do a project. Yeah, just just start with a scrap. It's probably time for you to do a scrap uh, afghan or a throw. Just start out a pattern like Granny. Either make granny squares or just whatever your favorite stitches and make you a throw or something with all your remnants. It'll get you in the mood while you watch, while you listen to the audiobooks. <laughs> Everything helps, doesn't it? <laughs> My sister's taking Harry to the vet today. Have him tested. Have her tested. That's why I call it Harriet. Because <laughs> everybody calls him uh, him, but it's a he. Because the name Harry. I spell Harry, H-A-R-R-Y, but I think his real name is H-A-I-R-Y, <laughs> or I-E, or something like that. <laughs> He's been passed around to several families, so, uh, but uh, anyway, she's a good old cat. She's old, though, very, very old, but anyway, well... <laughs> Today is just so pretty. My sister put new uh, colored bottles in the fence. And they're so, so pretty. She put uh, red, blue, and there's yellow and pink. And the lime green. And they're those real pretty bottle, colored bottles you get like at the dollar store. And she puts them uh, in the fence. Which is like the fence and, and at the top of the fence. She put an, an, another piece of wood, and then she stuck the, the colored bottles in there on the bottom shelf of the, on the bottom top, um, on the top of the, well, anyway, I'll show you a picture, but anyway, it's, and the bottles are in there, and the morning sun shines through there like they are this morning. You don't see both sides from the picture I have, but I may take another picture. But they're really pretty. She's added, I think, uh, two or three bottles, which really made a difference. What happens is during the winter, they fill with water, those colored bottles, and, and they burst. Yeah. So she's got corks in them this time, the one, the new ones anyway. So we'll see how they last out. You know, you do. What is it? You pop your bottle. No, 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 no. I don't even know where I'm going with it. I'd like to take that out because I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, this is going to be an unusual day. Unusual day. I don't have anything to talk about. Oh, no. Oh, no. I do need to get post office. It's been almost three weeks. I've got to get post office. And see if anybody sent me any cards or letters. Because I just love to get cards and letters. But uh, I guess I better get my, my desk out and start writing some letters. It would, it would be good to write letters. Especially the spring and write about flowers you're going to plant. Or crocheting you're going to do. And looking for the dogwoods to bloom. You know, that would be exciting to hear that for sure. But, uh, 
Yes, I'm going to continue on this and let you know about the tea party that's going to happen today. I hope nothing changes. The weather's perfect for it. And my sister arranged the her she shed so it's all it's just so cute. It's so cute out there. You hear the birds? They're all over the bird feeder this morning. And yeah, I put some of that uh, bird feeder that's got fruit and nuts in it. I bought them before I moved here, so I've been saving those for this winter. I've, after this bag, I won't be able to get any more because they're they're a little more expensive. But I I like to get them for the bluebirds because the bluebirds won't always come to regular feeders unless they're really hungry. And I don't I don't know if they eat. Um, other kinds of seeds, I don't know, but I do know that they do like this mix. So I put, uh, every other day, I put about a quarter of a cup, because the bag will last a month if I, uh, and two, you know, they, I don't want to make them too lazy. They need to be searching on their own for food. <laughs> but I enjoy them where I can see them. I'm sort of selfish like that. Yeah, see how pretty this is getting to be? Now see, just start with remnants, cut colors, and and uh, I think I'm about through with it. Yeah, I'm about through with this one. <laughs> but this, but uh, I've I've always liked that virus stitch. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. I might start the the next one like that. It's pretty. It was sort of hard to make a round. I started like a round, and then, then I went with the granny squares. But I do like the way it sort of fluffs a little bit. Or maybe it's colors that fluff. You know, just odd colors together. And, but they're just remnants. I didn't put any yellow in it or any black in it. Or what was the other colors? I, I, I opted out. Because I that's just a little... But it might look right. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, Connor's uh, alerted me. Somebody's coming. Who is it? Who is it, Connor? Who is it? Huh? Who is it? This say Tara's will be here any minute to give me a price on the clues. Oh, good. You, uh, it's a busy day. Yeah. Uh, and it'll probably be too high, but we need it done. Well, you want me to pitch in? Yeah. Uh, oh, thank I'm you. Wondering that we're okay, about. thank you. You look cute. You look skinny. You done good. Eleven pounds. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you me. look so pretty. He said he'd probably be here about eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah, the rate you're going, you're gonna be really skinny by spring. Oh, you are. Just stay with it. Okay. Okay. Well, that was my sister popping in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got to go. I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. I know I don't have anything funny to say today. But do keep yourself going. Motivate you. And if you can get to Joanne's, they got the special on that. I want to make a blanket. Uh, yarn. For $7.99, record $30. I think I've always paid $29, $30 for them. The first one, when they first came out, they were $20, and then they went to $29. And you can get them at Joann's right now. Well, here in Arkansas, at, little, at ours anyway, for $7.99, which is a pretty good bargain, I think. And it's really pretty blue. Really, really pretty blue. I'll put a picture up in the corner here to show it to you because it's a mixed blue. And uh, I think it's a, uh, I, I like it very much. I like it very much. So get yourself motivated. Yes, yes, yes. If it's cold, if it's hot, if it's sunny, if it's blue. You just keep your happiness inside, in your heart. And just think of the funniest thing, like Carol Burnett coming down in a, in a drape with a curtain rod still in the dress. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's it's you know, Carol Burnett 
at the she's acting like she's Scarlett O'Hara from the book Scarlett O'Hara when she has to use a curtain as a dress and her maid made her a dress out of a curtain. Carol Burnett though, in her skit, the, the rod was still in it. <laughs> I remember God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, the birds, the bees, the flowers and the trees. Flowers and the trees. And for each other. Each other. Because we're all in this big old world together and we are special. You're special, I'm special, we're we're special. <laughs> I feel like what is Mr. Rogers this morning? <laughs> I need a sweater on, don't I? <laughs> okay, okay, enough. Enough. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.